What's up guys, how's it going? Welcome to episode 15 of our Game Maker Studio 2 uh, top-down shooter tutorial. Uh, sorry for the delay, I'm going to try not to do that anymore. I'm going to record a couple in a row and schedule them out so that you guys don't have to wait so long each time I decide to take an unscheduled break. I <laughs> uh, hope you guys are having a happy holiday and let's get into our explosion particle effects. I believe that's where we left off. So, um, where we created our particles was in the creation code of our room. So if we go into our room zero and then click on creation code, this is where we put our particle system. And our particle system was called global.p system. The first particle type we created was our P thrusters for our thrusters behind our ship. So now way down here, and um, I will make a code tutorial for all this, but this is just drag and drop um, to show that you can make particles and all that good stuff in drag and drop, it's pretty powerful. So let's go ahead and create a new particle type. So let's scroll down to particles and we don't wanna create a particle system we want to create a particle type. And we're gonna call this global.p-explode. Uh, so particle system explode. Um, cool. So now, just like we went through, uh, we're going to create size, shape, color, alpha, uh, life, uh, speed, etc. So let's go ahead and start with size yeah that's cool so we'll start at uh what did i have before point two and point four all right and we want this for global p explode as a type so let's go ahead and paste that there uh you might want to copy and paste uh global.p explode because each particle modification we're going to make uh, is going to be for that one so that's all set uh, the next one we're going to do is colors so set particle color and again we're going to paste that and we're going to start at red and then we're going to go to yeah, let's go to yellow and then white that's cool all right and then the alpha we want it to slowly disappear so I have it start at one, middle at 0.5, and then end at zero when it's completely gone. Um, that seems to work pretty well. The particle life is between uh, 30, let's see, yeah, zero and 30. So let's see, particle life. So minimum life, let's put 30 here, and I'm just actually going to put 10 here because I don't want it to have too small of an impact. All right, so now we have alpha and life. After life, we can put speed. And uh, the speed that I chose was 1 and 2. So I just left that as is. Global P explode, min speed 1, max speed 2. And then uh, the direction, particle orientation. Uh, is there a direction? I believe direction would be better. Yeah, particle direction. There we go. So min direction zero, max direction 360 because we want to go in all directions. Uh, in our thruster, we only wanted it going down. In this one, we want to go in all directions. So zero to 360 is fine. And then uh, I believe that's all we really have here for global P explode. So now we have global P explode under our global P system. So let's go into our object for explosion and under create, uh, let's go ahead and burst some particles. So let's go down to particles and we will choose burst particles. And it's going to be from, oops, pause. All right, sorry about the uh, break. I just got some bad news that my car is not gonna cost $300 to fix, it's gonna cost $500 to fix. So 
on that amazing note, let's continue our tutorial and hope that this somehow gets a billion views and I could pay my car. <laughs> All right, so we created uh, the uh, burst particles, but we still have to type in global.p system. And uh, we have our global type p explode. And then we want it relative to the location of our explosion. This might have to go into step event. I think it will be okay. Um, but yeah, let's just put like 50 particles. That should be fine. And uh, right now we have an alarm countdown where after 15 um, frames, it destroys itself. Uh, one of my commenters mentioned that we could also do um, animation end and say when, let's see, other, when the animation ends, then destroy self. So we can actually go in and delete this alarm countdown and we can delete this alarm. Now, if this doesn't work in create, we'll just move this to a step event and it should work fine. But let's go ahead and test this out. Oh, we didn't set the particle type. That's what we forgot. So this, yeah, this isn't really gonna work too well. Okay, let's close this. We'll go back to our creation code and we need to set the particle type, particle shape. So let's put this here and we're going to choose explosion. There we go. So now we have uh, actual shape uh, to our particle. There, and now we have some particles flying out. It's a little hard to see, but they are definitely there. Uh, if we go in and let's actually, maybe we can give it a longer lifetime. Let's go into, see, but I don't want to make it too, huge of an explosion. So let's go into the sprite and let's, should I resize it? Yeah, let's resize this. Okay, we'll make it half size, 75 by 75, apply. All right, now object, now 75 by 75. So now if we hit play, it should let us see our particles a little bit better. This is partially because, yeah, now you can see them. It's partially because I have our particles disappearing after a short amount of time. So um, if we wanted to play with how long you can see it, uh, we can change its alpha and just leave this all at one. And if we played it, then they wouldn't actually fade out. They just disappear when it's done, but it'll let you see the uh, progression of colors going out. You can see it changes from uh, red to yellow to white. And we can see maybe we can leave it red longer. So let's change this to, we'll just make it red to red to red. Or red to red to a orange yellow. Okay. And if I hit play. Yeah, that looks cool. Um, we can also uh, play with adding it to the step event to see if that changes anything. Uh, so let's go to our create and we can just cut this by using control X, add it to our step event and paste it because this is gonna add, oh, it didn't work. Anyway, we can burst the particles again. So we'll burst particles, uh, global p explode, global.p system, um, 50 and this is going to create 50 every frame of the game. That's why I figured that this might be a, a more uh, explosive way of bursting out particles uh, instead of just increasing the count on the step. So let's just see if this works. There we go. Now that's an explosion. So let's go ahead and go back and uh, change the alpha back to normal. So 0 0.5 and then point. Ah, we'll just make it zero. That's fine. 
So let's hit play. And now, what a much cooler explosion. That's way better. So the explosion happens and particles fly out and now we have a cool explosion. Which obviously you could play with. Um, in our Planet Series game, what I actually did was I created a different colored explosion for each enemy type. So some enemies exploded green, uh, some enemies exploded red, etc. So yeah, that's explosions. In our next episode, I'll show you how to create a uh, title screen that has it so when you press space, it goes to your game. And that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and peace.